Good morning, Internet, and welcome back to the Rosie Supernova. Oh, I've got some stress. Okay. Anyway, my dupes are back over here at the slime tungsten planet. Uh, we just, we dug down this side. Now I'm working on sealing in this side because this is where the volcano and the vent are. I actually want to see if I can use that hot polluted oxygen for oxygen. Like, I'm going to have to do active cooling for the tungsten volcano. So I might as well cool down the air coming out of there and use it. But I got to keep an eye on stress levels. Apparently those are going up. And then I want to move the rocket platform over to here. Over here at the second planet, it's just been digging. Just absolute digging. Uh, all of this evaporated. And why? Okay, yeah, you can see that too. So normally... That testing build, here I'll try to move it to where we can read it easier. The testing build number is usually printed sideways up here, but apparently something happened to the UI that it's now vertical through the middle of the game. Weird. I dug all the way down onto here. Uh, this broke through and killed this beehive, so I just figured I'd dig all the way down, let some of that ice melt. And then put in a pump to suck up the carbon dioxide which will keep these two tanks full and vent the rest to space. And then put in a tank just to make sure the suit docks always have air. And then dealing with, there was a bunch of ice up here that has been melting and causing issues. So what does the main base look like? So I've been digging the left side of the main base. Uh, we finally sucked up all of the salt water. I actually turned off this pump some water got through here with my polluted water and it kind of screwed stuff up. So now I am filtering that up here. So polluted water goes into the tank. Fresh water is just going out into space. Oh, and you just became active again. Okay, this was dormant for a while, but now I'm pumping straight clean water, so it does not matter. So yeah, let's prioritize this bit so that I can move the rocket platform over. And then I can start to seal this in and put in a set of soup ducks. Like I said, stress has come up a little bit, so I'll have to pay attention to that. It's still only two dupes over here. You know, just flew them back, flew them back to here. We're past cycle 500. Oh, and I changed the save frequency. The game's been mostly stable. You know, there's been a couple of crashes, but I switched the save frequency to every five cycles. Hopefully that doesn't screw me up, but mostly my five cycle routine has been queue up a bunch of digging and uh, wait. So that's not that big of a deal. My goal for dealing with the slime is particularly simple. I just want to dig all this down and bury it underwater. <laughs> I think that is a perfectly reasonable thing to do with slime. I got the pipe queued for this pump to fill up the suit docks. I did bring extra suits this time, so I think one of their suits is about ready to wear out. Oh, you have sunburn. Well, that would also make him upset. All right, I'm trying to get the top of the base sealed in. Kind of got to make this sustainable, then I can figure out how to feed the darn tree. Once I figure out how to feed the tree, then I can work on isoresin. It's a very slow process. But these deodorizers over here did a great job of cleaning up this side of the base. And then once I get this sealed in, I'll just crank it over and put in more deodorizers. Watching these dupes try to figure out the pathing. There's only two of them, and it's not a very big base. But they still just walk over, do something, wait, then do the next thing. Yeah, it's not very fast. Oh, that's where all that copper came from. I was wondering why these were made out of copper. I deconstructed all of the power wires and automation wires that came around the tree. I don't know why they include them, but hey, free metal. 
I think I want them to seal in the door first. Let's change the priority. I cracked this open so it'd be easier for them to get back and forth because they kept running around. But I realize I want to seal in this door so we don't lose all the nice air pressure. Alright. How did you build yourself into a door? Like, you're entombed inside of a door. <laughs> like, I was click on him because he's having a bad day due to his sunburn, but he also built himself into a door, which is just... It's a door. He should be able to open it. Might have to put a massage, massage table in the rocket for the flight back as that sunburn has been kind of up in the stress on Ashcan there. Alright, now will you please build this that is priority 7. I don't know why I made those out of granite, but whatever, I've got granite. All right, now the air is finally contained. How long does it take for sunburn to wear off? Oh, it just did. Okay. I was looking at his stress and the sunburn just wear just wore off. So now hopefully his stress will start coming down. Oh, they're standing on top of each other. Where did you go? Not you, you. Yeah, so it's still in there for today's stress, but then it should come off uh, once he sleeps. I forgot clicking on new printables. Yeah, it takes you all the way back to the main base. So, let's have a look at it. The diamond thingy is still working. How much is it holding? 270, so th this was at 99, so this is cranking away. Uh, the Wheeze Ward is not keeping up with the temperature generated by the Rad Bolt generators, but that is perfectly fine. Uh, looks like all of my natural gas geysers are active. That's dormant. When that goes off again, it should melt those latter segments. Let's look at the gas overlay. Oh, that's quite nice. Almost all the carbon dioxide is gone. Good deal. Over here, have we had an explosion? No, nope, we're doing okay. No, nope, we don't want to dig that. And let's keep an eye on the dumb butts that very much want to build themselves inside of doors. And I'm putting this battery in because when the rocket leaves, there is no battery. So every time the sun went down, everything stopped. And now that Ash can slept, uh, he was at 59%. So the stress is starting to come down. Take a look at him. Yeah, not by much, but that is okay. Pleasant chit chat and some good food keeps him going. All right, and now that should start pumping. Now let's prioritize the deodorizers to keep the air clean. And let's lock that door for now. Good, that should help keep the air clean. 
I'm just gonna dig this down and drop everything down. Well, I just noticed my food situation. I'm down to 6,000 calories, which is not enough. Like, that's just gonna be enough to get them back. So, uh, let's see, crew. Can I do begin launch sequence from here? All right, well, yeah, we're just gonna launch them back. It's weird that you can pick the crew, but not start the launch sequence from inside the rocket. Oh, yeah, I don't care about. Really does feel like they slowed that down. Oh, there is one of my saves. It'll take a little bit. So their flight time right now is 3.5 cycles. This might overskill him, but let's see what happens if we take... Hassan is the rocket pilot. It's gonna way overskill him, but let's... I'm just curious. So if I do that... Does that not make him faster? It'd be helpful if I looked at what rocket piloting does. Plus 200%. Does that only work when he's using it? Oh, I can also do... This probably needs to happen. Now he's using it. Still says 3.5 cycles. All right, let's just try switching maps and then come back. 3.4. That does not seem like it changed anything. And now we put this pump in because it uses less power. And that's exactly why. But now we can run on that. Okay, so upgrading that definitely didn't help him. And I might run into a stress issue here shortly for Hassan. Why do you say... Really not that much igneous rock over here? No, that looks like plenty. I don't know, what's that pressure? 700 kilograms. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. Yeah, like all this stuff is igneous. Sometimes the game just gets confused as to what it has and what it doesn't. Probably put in some deodorizers to deal with all that polluted oxygen. It looks like we got another carbon dioxide dump. Who knows? Yeah. That didn't change. All right. Well, wrong planet. Let's uh, save and wait for them to get back. Hopefully I don't run out of food. I just saved and reloaded. So... Fix that UI bug where now the testing thing is up here and the flight time for these guys is still three cycles. So, not sure what updating that skill did for me. This still doesn't think I have Igneous Rock. Weird. The yeah, it's a bit stale. This stuff's probably been there for a while. But 4,000 calories, that should be two cycles worth of food. And then they've got another cycle of flight time. So they should make it.
I didn't really pay attention to what cycle count I was on when I started this pumping project. But I want to say it was a couple hundred cycles. And it now feels like we're getting there. Like, I mean, I am just pumping the clean water straight out into space. So it's not like I'm trying to keep it, but I'm keeping the polluted water. There's a question. How many reed fiber am I up to now? I accidentally shipped most of it over to the other base. No, it's industrial ingredient. I always think it is manufactured. Yeah, I've got 400 over here and I've got 500 on this base. A lot of ball lily flowers. We're gonna do one and a half cycles. I think they're gonna make it. Yeah. I kept finding dupes going to the bathroom and getting stuck in my rockets waiting for suits to fill up. I just get the notification saying unreachable food and I go over there and I find that there's a dupe. Just using the bathroom, waiting for a suit to fill up with air because of the nice view. But yeah, the game is definitely chugging. It's improved slightly since I fixed the gas explosion, but its performance has come down. We have another 20 cycles till I get more magma. And of course the petroleum boiler. Ooh. I actually did get a cracked pipe. Okay. That must have been... Usually when there's fresh magma over here, it can get a temperature spike up there. Let's set you. Like really, I want this liquid to be just barely at 400. Like for some crude oil. Yeah. What are you doing? You. Yeah, 399. So I think just 402. The idea being is you don't want this liquid to get that hot or will break the stuff inside the pipes. You can see that petroleum's at 401 and the crude oil coming in is 398. I just want to see what happens when the door closes. Which I assume is going to happen at some point. There it is. Yes, that didn't even spike to 402. High 401s is all right. Okay, well, we'll keep an eye on it. If that continues to break, then we know we've got a problem. In an effort to deal with the stack of polluted oxygen, whole string of deodorizers. But while, what I noticed while going to make the wire is I am all out of iron. I used all of my iron making steel. And because we don't have those nice asteroids to give us free iron or free iron from space, I haven't been making steel for a while. Yeah, like I have two tons of lime. There's two tons of lime. But no iron. So my ranches are doing a great job. And then that should keep feeding there. 0.9 cycles. Even at priority seven. Oh! That's my rocket landing. And at priority seven, it uh, takes a while for stuff to uh, shut down. Um, I 
There's no rocket exhaust. There. There. <laughs> There's no rocket exhaust. Oh, whatever. Well, my dupes have made it back. It's... It just takes a long time at this point in the game. Need to reassign their beds because that bed auto-assigning thing doesn't work. Same thing with mess tables. And we are making the deodorizer stack. And I think we'll call that good. These, The game is definitely chugging. It takes a long time to get between things. But I think I've made great progress on settling the tree planet. Next time I should be able to send over a cook and some permanent residents. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you all are enjoying the game. And we will see you next time.